example of optimization problem. In this example, we are still working with a single variable model. So the problem says FM has the following total cost and demand function, right? The first question is, what is the total revenue function? The second question is, what is the total profit function? The third question is, what is the profit maximizing level of output? And the fourth question is, what is the maximum profit? Sure, it is a maximum. All right. So from the given information, basically we know that when we are calculating total revenue, we have to multiply quantity times price, right? So from the demand function itself, basically it's defining Q as a function of P. But what we want in our total revenue function is to define a function in terms of Q, right? So we need to get the inverse demand function and multiply it to Q, right? So to get the inverse demand function, basically what we're going to do is to rewrite the demand function, right? Making P subject of the formula, right? So now we have P equals to 100 minus Q. So with the price now, we can multiply it to Q to get total revenue right so our total revenue becomes 100 q minus q squared right to get the profit function we are going to use now the new total revenue function we have derived together with the given total cost function so profits is the difference between the two total revenue minus your total costs right if you open the bracket and simplify we'll find our total profits basically is equals to one minus one third Q cubed plus six Q squared minus 11 Q minus 15. To calculate now the profit maximizing level of output as we have uh, established, we have to find the first order conditions and set them equal to zero, right, of our profit function, right? So when you differentiate your profit function with respect to Q, you get minus Q squared plus 12Q minus 11, and then equate it to zero. So basically we have defined a quadratic formula right so now we use the quadratic formula to simplify with your a equals to minus one your b is 12 and your c is minus 11 and uh, that reduces to q star being equal to either one or to 11 right so we need now to identify which of the two solutions um gives um or maximizes the profits so we check for second order condition Right, so we are going now to find a second derivative of the profit function with respect to Q. So it's basically differentiating our first derivative. So the answer now becomes minus 2Q plus 12. And then the next step will be to evaluate the second derivative at the two solutions. So if you substitute for Q equals to 1, then the second derivative is equals to 10. 10 is greater than 0, so it's a minimum. And if you evaluate for Q equals to 11, the second derivative is equals to minus 10. And this is less than zero. So we can conclude that profits will be maximized when Q is equals to 11.